Okay, hi guys, it's Ace here from JVA Studios and I'm going to teach you how to airbrush a photo on Adobe Photoshop. Alright, so first off, you want to duplicate your image twice using Command J or Control J for PC. Okay, you want to label the top layer, Details, and then the bottom, Softness. Next, convert both to a smart layer. So, first off, select your details layer. So what you want to do is go to Filter, Ava, High Pass. Then you want to start at 0.1 and slowly go up until you can until you can start seeing the skin, the details of the skin. I find this usually good at like 1.4, 1.5 for most pictures. This one, I think 1.4 is good. So I'm gonna go with that. And once you do that, you wanna go to linear light. Then you can take off the deep, take off. Then you wanna go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. You wanna go here. Then you wanna find a point where the skin starts to look good, but not too blurry. Yeah, so I think about That's a bit too blurry for me. So I would say with this picture. So the trick is you want to get just about where it looks like it stops looking. Where it's not too blurry, but it's covering stuff. Okay, so that's about good. 12.5 for this picture is pretty good. Enough, but obviously depending on which picture you have, you're going to use different ones. You're going to need different pixels, yeah? So then press OK. And, and because it's a small object, you can always go back and change it later. Then after that, you want to make that suitable. Then you want to select both, both layers and press Control G to make them a group. Then you want to name that group Airbrush Skin. Okay. So now after you've made that into a group, you want to press and hold holds and click on the layer mask to make it a, to make a layer mask that's completely black. Then after that, you want to select a soft round block, a soft round brush. I'm going to use this. Then I'm going to zoom in on our face a little bit. And so now, what you can do is you can just paint over the bits of the skin that you. Oh, make sure your brush is on white. Yeah. Then you want to paint over the bits of the skin where you want to like airbrush out. While you're air when you're airbrushing, you want to kind of stay away from the nose, like the side of the. You want to be careful, like around the side of the skin, the nose especially. So once when the airbrush is nose when the nose is airbrushed out, it's extremely easy to tell. Remember, the airbrush is like a final touch. So you want to go watch our spot healing brush tutorial and use that first before you come to this. So you just want to keep painting over it nice and gently. Just nice and gentle, and painting over it. Just take your time, make your brush smaller when you need to. And just paint where you feel like it needs to be painted. Try to be careful around the eyebrows, around any hair, around the eyes, around the nose. You just gotta be careful around the eyes, the nose, any hair. Because that's how it makes it easy to tell. You wanna be kind of easy with it, like don't don't rush it. Don't do too much. You wanna you wanna make it look like it's unseeable. So you can use it to help get rid of these here, so it kind of can help blend it out a little bit. I don't want to go too much. You want to kind of, you want to keep their natural features, but just improve on them a little bit. Oh, 
So there we go. I've done it pretty much. But now what you want to do, when you go to the opacity, turn it down just a tiny bit. I'll say usually about 80% is good to make it look realistic. And so then, as you can see, this is this this is the before, that's the after. All right, so thanks for watching the full tutorial on how to airbrush a photo in Adobe Photoshop. Um, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to JVA Studios for more Photoshop tutorials.